What's going on guys? Morning. It's Sunday morning. Um, thank you guys for all the love and all the the support on all my videos, on all my streams, everything. Um, I hope you guys really enjoyed them and um yeah, thank you for everything. You guys have really helped turn my life around so far and I'm gonna continue to do it with YouTube. But um in today's vlog, it's not gonna be a very long vlog, it's probably just gonna be my gym session. On Sundays, I do a full body gym session and I'm going to be here with my boy Vic. And um, what we're going to do, we're doing yeah, full body workout. And yeah, what I was trying to do for this week was to get you guys some, you know, driving footage of me like driving around Barbados, going to the places I've been going. I went into town this week, but because I don't have a stand in this car, like right up here on my dashboard. I do not have a stand. I do not have anything that I can put my phone up. Even when I try to stick it right up here, like it, when I drive, the phone falls down, which causes an issue. I can only like, well, there you go. Phone fell down. <laughs> well, as you guys can see, the phone fell down. I can probably only do, oh my gosh, stupid thing. I can probably only do this um, when I'm stationary, like parked like this which is a little bit of an issue because I want to be able to show you guys when I'm driving and, and show you guys around Barbados when I'm driving. But this is how it is, I guess. This is what I got to work with. So I guess we'll do what we got to do. My, yeah, my boy Vic now, I don't even have any credit on my phone that I can call him. But um, yeah, I'm here. We were supposed to meet here at 8 o'clock. It's 8.04 early in the morning. It's not that early, but it's early. And um, yeah, um, I don't know. Life's been a little bit different, you know. I've been wanting to take the VRP and a lot of different things in a different direction. Really focus on my content. Focus on, you know, certain things that I've been doing. Last night, um, we had a good stream. I ended the stream by talking about something or the other. But um, if you guys want to go ahead up that, you can go and watch that up, up there. But right now, I'm eating or drinking some porridge. This is oats. My mom made it, I can make it too, but my mom made it for this morning and I had a pancake before I left home. It was a cassava pancake actually. It wasn't made out of the normal flour, it was made out of a cassava flour. Um, my doctor actually told me not to, not to eat anything wheat based anymore. Um, I mean, I kind of break that from time to time, but you should really listen to your doctor. Um, it's just sometimes, sometimes you just don't have a choice. Sometimes, you know, it's the only thing you have available and then you go and eat it or whatever. But, um, yeah, I use cassava flour when I'm, all oh, my boys here. Um, I use cassava flour when I am, what's the word? Um, when I'm doing pancakes or anything like that. And then I use, I use, um, I just use normal products from then on. But oats is a very good way to get some 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 calories in and some carbs in, and I really like it. So this is what I'm drinking, and he's here. So I'm gonna just try to down this real quick, and then we'll go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answered a no, man, I still go Go, 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 go Hustle out, hustle every single day I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave To the system, I don't wanna be a slave I've been doing shit my way, or the highway and in the driveway is a nice range Cause I grind through the climb, I invite pain You'll never hear me bitch, nah, I don't complain Just gotta flip the switch and you can go and obtain Anything you want, anything you need Your mind's got the key ingredient, it's belief They deceive with the negativity But I just slide right by that energy Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go Never answered a no, man, I still go Go, 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 go,
like some batter in your brain uh, That's why they say, fake it till you make it A And if you play that game, then you just might make a change Rearrange all the bad to okay Take the worst thoughts and turn them to a game Take the best thoughts and put them on display On repeat in your brain till you're feeling no more pain uh, Never slow yourself down, you can do some more Push past all the pain and you'll find the door Open it up and finally explore Everything that you thought you could never do before uh, Slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answer to no, man, I still go Go, go Alright, y'all Trying a new concoction here in this car Or something A concoction, contraction, whatever you want to call it But, um yeah, I didn't get to do the video that I really wanted to do this week. Um, so we're going to be here. We're going to talk while I drive home from the gym. So um, the thing I want to the thing I want to really talk about today is self-improvement, at least for men. Um, so all of my young guys out there, I need you to guys to listen very carefully to what I'm saying today, because self-improvement is the biggest thing you as a guy can can do in 2022. Now. Let me take a sip and then we'll get into it. All right. So, self improvement, self improvement. So, guys, I need y'all to realize, right, that reality, and as this is something that Thanos said, Thanos said in um, the MCU, reality is often disappointing. I've been trying to do it the other way, but that's not working. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to do it this way. So sorry guys, I can't show you more more about this. What I'll do is probably like put in a few clips when I'm driving and that's about it. So you guys can see a little bit more about my island. Okay, so self-improvement as a guy, right? Um, I think it's the best thing you can do as a, as a male in 2022 because um, the world doesn't really, doesn't really cater to you nowadays. And um, I think that men kind of have less rights under the law than females do. And I'm not going to go into that into any detail, what my thoughts of that into detail. But I will say, you as a guy, you got to improve yourself. Because let's, let's take girls for the example. It's the simplest thing that you guys can think about. If you guys watch a lot of media, a lot of social media, a lot of girls require certain things from guys. You have to be this height, you have to have this amount of money, you have to have a car, you have to have a house, you have to be able to make her feel some way, all of this stuff. You have to be a complete package as a man. And for, in order to compete with other men, and the thing is guys, we are always competing with other men. We are always competing. And for you to, to, to be able to have an actual competition, you need to improve yourself. You need to get your money up. You need to get your physique up. You need to do everything. That's why I told you guys, if you're feeling any kind of um, sad feelings, hit the gym. Because you can build your body. You can make yourself look as like an absolute unit and be so attractive to people. Just aesthetically, you can look so attractive. If you're an ugly guy, it's okay. You know, um, for a while I thought that I was ugly. And I, and I worked on myself. I worked on my thing. But... As I got more and more confident, I'm like, no, nah, I'm not ugly. I'm just not like supermodel looking. You get what I'm saying? And that's reality. I'm not a supermodel. But I have been able to improve that upon myself by hitting the gym and working hard at what I'm doing. I've been able to improve on my looks, my attractiveness, etc. from me going into the gym. You know how many compliments I get? Before, I never got approached by women. Sometimes now I get approached by women and it's like, or even if it was an approach, it's like a compliment. I went to the, um, my hairdresser the other day and the lady in there, like she never called me sexy before, but she saw me with my, cause I haven't been there in a while. She saw me in a while and she called me sexy. Like, you know, and that's something your guys are going to get a whole lot once you start hitting the gym. And especially if you have a really good personality, a funny personality for me, usually I make her laugh all the time and that's and that's that's something about me that she she thinks that she can have banter with and yeah I do have good banter but that's the sort of thing that you guys need to start improving improve your physique and improve your personality in a sense figure out who you are figure out 
what what are your best traits and focus on those and get those to the utmost best level that you can get them me I figured out that I'm good at teaching so I teach I figured out that I'm good at YouTube and RP and stuff like that so I started doing that I figured out that I I was good at um, making people laugh making slight comments like banter stuff like that and I decided to continue doing that I got really good at the gym and getting my my body in shape staying consistent staying disciplined so that's why I decided to continue doing what I got to do but um, I think that you guys as I said you guys should self-improve because it's only gonna get better if you continue to do things that put you in a better situation why not continue because in the end of the day, it's all for you. You go out there, you make your own money. You get more money to spend on yourself. You get more money to do what you gotta do, to go after all of your goals and your dreams. Once you guys, let's say you decide you wanna be a millionaire, right? And you start YouTube, you start doing crypto, you start doing um, business, etc. You have your own business. You become your own boss. Nobody tells you what to do. Nobody tells you what you need to do. Now, I know there's a lot of you guys that are satisfied with what you're doing, and that's completely fine. That's completely okay. A nine to five job is completely okay. Actually, nine to five jobs are necessary. They're necessary in today's society. Not everybody can be a boss, but as if you're going to be at a nine to five job, make sure that you become the best nine to five person ever, whichever job it is, whether you're in insurance, whatever you are, even flipping burgers at McDonald's. Be the best flipping burgers person at McDonald's. Like, continue to do what you gotta do. Like, I've gotten a little bit more confident with the camera. I'm not confident with the camera in public. That's why you guys haven't seen me be in public or whatever, filming. I film in the car while I'm driving from place to place. But you guys can, can literally continue to do what you gotta do. And I know these points are all over the place, but I really do feel passionate about this. I want to see more of my young guys out there going out and doing what they got to do. If you if you think that YouTube is the thing you got to do, go ahead and do it. If you think that um, school is the thing you got to do, getting your degree, etc., go ahead and do it. If you think that your business is going to be successful, go and start your business. Do what you got to do with that. Because at the end of the day, as I said, it's on you. It's for you. You're in control of your own success. You're in control of everything. And if you see somebody doing better than you, or you see somebody that you aspire to be, don't be shy. Go up to that person and say, and don't hate, sorry, what I'm saying. Don't hate. I get a lot of people that are hating on my channel. Those guys hate because they want to be me. They can't be in the position that I'm at right now. So they hate on me. But I'm telling you guys, do not hate on persons. What you guys got to do, if, you're, if you see somebody in a position that you want to be in, you go to that person and say, how do I get there? How do I do that? That's what I've done with Steve. I I, I've, I could have easily been somebody that's going to hate on Steve, say this and that. And I know Steve has some haters here and there. But what I did is that I looked at Steve's um, channel. I wouldn't say I copied certain things, but you see certain things that are, that are working. And you kind of incorporate those into your own thing on yourself. And that goes for any industry that you guys are doing. Anything that you guys are doing. You look at the person that's most successful in the field that you want to do, you ask them a question. How did you get there? How did I how can I learn how to be there? How can I learn to do this? Etc. And you listen to them, listen to their advice, you do what you gotta do, and just continue. Because at the end of the day, as I said, you're in control of your own success. You're in control of where you gotta be. We live in a world where you can literally like money is just flying out of the sky right now. What but what's what look at cryptocurrency? What is it? It's not physical cash. That's something that you know literally falling out of the sky. The governments of the world print trillions of dollars every day. You gotta learn how to take money. You gotta learn how to be the person to attract the money to you. You can't be these um this this I don't know. You can't, you can't continue to be um, somebody that's going to trade your time for money. Time for money is a day, a, a, a concept of old. I'm right now trying to get out of, um, you know, trading my time for money. That's why I'm doing YouTube. Because I know over time, all of my videos are going to compile up, compile up, compile up, compile up. And I'm going to keep earning on those videos. 
So that's something that I've learned to, to start doing, you know. Not just not trading my time for money, but trading my money for money. And I think it's very important for us to do that. As as guys, as as investors or whatever. One day once I start making enough, I'm gonna start diversifying what I'm gonna do with my money. I'm gonna start putting my money and, and creating a, a good cash flow so that I can keep my money going over and over again. So that's something that um, you guys need to start doing. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna end it here. I can go into more detail about it another time, but um, thank you guys for all the love and all the support on my videos. I do appreciate it. I'm gonna try this week to get a, a stand for my car to put up the phone so you guys can have a better angle, okay? But um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy. See you guys next time. Remember to go after all you guys' goals and your dreams. You guys got this. I'll see you in the next one. Peace, everybody. I, I, I can feel the blood creeping up from the heathens. Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason. If they want to go eat, then you know I'm going to feed them. If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon. I got